my game is dead. And since I don't want it to disappear forever in the sea of irrelevant mobile games, I decided to do something about it. I'm making a fast-paced, maze-solving game where you have to escape a deadly abyss that's chasing you. In my last video, I added seven crazy new levels. Now, after a ton of thorough research, I developed a four-step plan which will save my game. One of the new features will completely revolutionize how Mazify is played, but before we get to that, I need to rebuild my game's code from scratch. Imagine if you had to build a whole house all on your own. By the time you got to the roof, you learned enough to make it be pretty good. Nice. However, because of the shitty foundation, it will all probably collapse. That's kind of what's happening with my game's code. I started working on Mazify in 2021. Holy shit, that was three years ago. And back then, my programming skills were, well... It's the biggest piece of dog shit. So this game has been built on a bunch of scrapped together code that just barely holds together right now, and adding new features is a living hell. Also, it runs on 3 FPS on anything other than an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and since no one wants to play a game that looks like this, optimizing performance will be the first step of reviving that game. Right now, for each wall, I just spawn a separate game object and they pile up quickly. So, to fix that, I decided to generate the whole level as one mesh by adding the coordinates of each vertex and connecting them up. And now, the whole level is just one object which should let my game run on a potato. But there are still some bugs to fix. Now that I got some of the old features working like the meteors and power-ups, I'm gonna fix up how fast the abyss moves since it's kind of a mess right now. The abyss is this line that chases the player and it basically dictates the difficulty of the game. From now on, the speed is gonna increase throughout each level and then when you level up, it slows down a bit. This makes for a far better difficulty curve as the player can rest a bit after each level up and prepare for the next challenge. Now it's time for my biggest enemy, the UI. UI. First of all, I made a far better system for opening and closing the menus. And yes, I did just spend a week working on the game and it looks exactly the same. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. But at least adding the other features should hopefully be a little easier now. Then I spent two hours trying to remake the game's logo. And while I'm doing that, you should click the subscribe button since 99% of you aren't subscribed. And this is exactly how long it took me to get sick of UI, so I decided to completely scrap the UI remake and start adding actually interesting stuff to the game. It's time to finish the new levels. In the last video, I added lasers, portals, ravines, and a camera flip, but all the levels still feel samey. To fix that, I made a system where I can add a texture to the background of the level, thanks to this comment for the idea, and change the texture's opacity, size, and color. So now I can play around and put anything as the background for the game. Nice. I made an animation that smoothly transitions between two levels and then designed levels two, three, four, five, six, seven, and infinity. Okay, it's time for the main feature of this update, a new score system that's going to completely change how Mazify is played. I decided to get rid of the distance measuring thing since every time you reach a certain level, your score is the same. Bruh. Also, surviving a minute in the last level should give you more than surviving a minute in the first level. And that takes me to my second step of saving that game. Make it feel better. Game feel is one of the most important parts of game design and it's often overlooked. So, I had to come up with a system that is more dynamic, rewards the player's skill and scales with the game's difficulty. Firstly, to make it more dynamic, I decided to equate the score to the amount of coins the player collects since that is different every run. To make it reward the player's skill, I made a combo system, and you know those can be crazy addictive. Basically, the first coin collected gives you one score, but if you collect another one very quickly, it gives you two score, the next one gives you three, and so on until you lose your streak. Finally, to make it scale with the difficulty, the score gained will be multiplied by the current level. This new score system should make it feel a lot more rewarding to progress further and break your high score. It's also gonna give a completely different purpose to coins, so I gotta replace the coin rush power up with something else, and I decided to go with a shield that makes it so that you can't die for a few seconds. This power up feels very good to use and can lead to some crazy tense moments. So I think it's a great addition to the game. Now, remember how I said I scrapped the UI update? Well, I actually just outsourced it to someone far more talented. And thanks to Luna Frost for making this awesome design. So I put this into Unity and this is how the main menu looks now. 
yeah, step three is make it look better. But this middle part still looks a bit empty and what better thing to put there than the player's skin. Next up I'll be redesigning the shop. I'll split it into two parts, the special offer shop which will hold all the real money purchases and a brand new skin shop. I don't like that right now it's just images of the skins so instead I will actually spawn 3D models of the skins and you can cycle through them. It's always better to ground the UI in the game's world to not take the player out of the experience. For example, in the forest your inventory is an actual 3D layout of your backpack instead of just a menu like in most games. So here's the new skin menu, you can cycle through different rarities of skins and unlock the hidden ones if you have enough coins. This does need some particles though. And after adding 20 new skins, which are far better than the old ones... What the hell is even that? That's it for the new skin shop. Time for the final step of saving a dead game, adding gameplay variety. Playing the same game over and over and over again can get quite boring, so I decided to add some new game modes that you can buy with coins. I already added the daily maze in the last video, and the new game modes are... Meteor Rush, where the meteor spawn rate is extremely high. Speedrun, where the goal is just to get to the end of the level as fast as possible. Marathon, a chill game mode with no hazards and your progress is saved. Memory, where the maze keeps disappearing. Invisible, where there is no ball and very limited particles so you have to keep track of the ball in your mind. And finally Extreme, which is a super buffed version of the original game with the biggest maze and all the hazards constantly spawning. All these new features broke the tutorial and caused a bunch of bugs. So after fixing all that... Hacker man. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. I updated the looks of the daily spin and the achievement screen. I also improved the feel of respawning as before it would just cut to you being alive again. You see what I'm getting at here? The four steps I showed are not a one and done thing, but instead a cycle that should be repeated over and over again until the game feels just right. The only thing left is for the developer to decide when the game is going to release, and for me that is right now. So yes, Mazify 2.0 is now available for both iOS and Android and is going to be the first link in the description. I'm really looking forward to your feedback which you should leave in the comment section down below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe since I'm planning on trying out some different projects over the next few months and I've got some pretty interesting ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.